Hi, and welcome to Innovate on Vermont PBS. I'm Victoria Taylor, and today I'm going to be exploring Logic Supply, whose technology is making advancements everywhere, from airports to sophisticated drills mining three miles below the earth. Let's see how they make computers with no fans or moving parts. Welcome to Logic Supply. Thank so glad you. to be here. Thank yeah. you. I'm so glad to be here. This is a beautiful lobby. Thank you. Thank um, you, it's a brand new headquarters. We just expanded our facilities here over the past year. We're headquartered here in Vermont, obviously. Uh, we have about 64, 65 full-time employees, a gaggle of interns at any at any given time. And what kind of people kind of gravitate towards working at Logic Supply? Yeah, so we sort of look for, we refer to it as tinkerer's DNA. Uh -huh. um, so we look for the makers, the doers, and whether that's uh, in a field like engineering, folks are hands-on, or in some of the, the other non-techie, uh, maybe HR, yeah. uh, kind of type roles and whatnot. We're still looking for just folks that have a passion for whatever they're doing. And That's so. awesome. For folks that do not immediately know, oh, Logic Supply, you guys make industrial computers. Right. And they're usable in a wide variety of applications. Yeah, we make computers meant for rugged or harsh environments. Amazing. You can buy one of our systems online. But I might not know how to use it, but I can buy it. We don't focus on, consumer, on the consumer market. We really focus on um, any number of different types of businesses. And, and you make them here. We make them here. So can we go check it out? Yeah. All right, let's do it. And actually, speaking of what kind of people we have here, as you go up the stairs. That's amazing. <laughs> it's a small thing, but it's us. So this is our assembly area. Now, why Vermont? Frankly, we could be anywhere. We produce and assemble computers here. We ship all over the world. Okay. Um, but frankly, this is where we want to be for quality of life. Uh, we like the kind of folks here. This is a classic Vermont story, I think. Yeah. Sort of entrepreneurs having a good idea, seeing a need and then building a business out of it. And the kinds of folks that we want to have as employees or want to work with here. Are here. Uh, are here and oh. share the same values. So. And this is an industrial drive, right? Yes, so industrial computer, yeah. Industrial computer, yeah. and so Logic does industrial and then you also do rugged. These both sound like music genres to me, right? So, like yeah. if you're not into industrial, you gotta be into rugged. <laughs> so what's the difference between industrial and a rugged drive? Industrial applications could be industrial controls, manufacturing line, manufacturing workstations, uh, different things. When we get into rugged, mm -hmm. now we're talking about even wider temperature range. So the difference between industrial computers and a rugged computer might be you're on a manufacturing line in a factory or a security surveillance operation in one hand, mm -hmm. or you might be in a mining vehicle three miles below the surface of the earth. That's that, amazing. That's your rugged. And so when someone places an order with Logic Supply, um, you guys basically create everything from scratch. So every order can be a custom order. Uh, and it could be anything from, we simply punch, punch some different holes in the back plate, mm -hmm. or it could be a customer coming in and saying, we have an idea and a need, and we'd like you to design something from the ground up in a rugged operation. It might be the computer in a mining vehicle that is actually just doing diagnostics monitoring, but it's gotta be either because of the application or the environment, our customers want something that is highly reliable. The idea of using a logic supply computer for radio is pretty interesting. We have a few customers that uh, use our systems inside radio, inside radio booths because they're all fanless, there's no noise, and so, their reliability and the ruggedness isn't really the attractive thing. But it's the, the silence. Everything is completely silent uh, is what is what meets their, their need. I mean, as anyone who's ever opened up a PC and you just see all the dust inside and you're like, yeah. that is disgusting. We don't have You that. never have to worry about this. Never have that because there's no moving parts and there's no airflow inside the computer. What if, what if a consumer really wanted one of these? So what if someone at home was like, you know what, I need this, I have way too many long-haired pets and I need... Yeah, they can jump online and, and, get, a logic and supply get a logic supply computer. Computer. And, and we sell plenty online as well. And they're kind and of small for how much processing power is in them. This is as powerful a computer as you might need, but the motherboard is four tiny. inches by four inches and it's, the computer- It's small, I mean, you can see my hands are pretty tiny. Yeah. The computer isn't much bigger than the board itself, and it looks really good. And the, and the design <laughs> is to help alleviate the heat. Yes, and so what these fins are doing is creating as much surface area as possible to dissipate the heat. So effectively, instead of a fan, the entire enclosure That's of really the computer clever. Is, is managing the heat. No moving parts and a solid state drive. So no spinning, no spinning. Oh God, the, dr the dreaded, I dropped my laptop and. Yep. <laughs> we have beat up on some of our systems with baseball bats. Uh, that's 
you can watch that What's online. What's the point of having something that, you know, rugged if you can't demonstrate it to people? Like when yeah. they put the blocks of wood in the blender yeah. in the infomercial, will it blend? You know, will it process? It will, well, I don't know that it would, <laughs> it would take a very powerful blender to actually have to, to have to destroy one of these. And they will work in, in very extreme environments. And this looks like almost like Santa's workshop. That's <laughs> okay. Logic Supply knows if you've been naughty or nice. So, That's right. But how long does it take to actually make a Logic Supply computer? Computer? You mean uh, go through the assembly? Just like literally, like I am an, a wealthy industrialist who wishes to order an incredibly yeah. rugged and dependable computer for my, you know, for my needs. Awesome. Ne yeah, exactly. Needs. Yeah. So I go on the website. I check out the specs, find one that I'm looking for, place an order, and then what happens? By the time all the components are ready on the loading dock, ready for a build, we have every order built, tested, and shipped back out to the customer in three to five days. That's like faster than the turnaround on like a custom bridal dress or something. We do. <laughs> we, it's like, we try to stay just, just in time as possible. Uh, there you go. We can prototype systems in days and weeks rather than months or years and you could have a working system ready for testing before a big production run, literally in days or weeks, depending on the complexity. Have you ever seen the Great British Baking Challenge? Yes. Actually, this actually yeah, makes me think a lot of it when they're like, we need 36 tiny, 36 biscuits. tiny biscuits, and they're yes. all identical. They all have to be perfect and exactly the same. Right. Same principle applies here, except instead of biscuits, it's we computers. Need 100 very purpose-built specific applications. Tiny computers. Computers. They have to have the perfect amount of crunch. They can't be mushy at all. That's right. That's awesome. And, and frankly, we hold ourselves to exacting standards. On the technology front, we're always trying to build a better mousetrap. And I think we're innovators, we're not inventors. Mm -hmm. So it's really about small iterative steps using the technology, building on what we've done before, I think is where you see a lot of who and what we are shine. To pack this much power in that small of a footprint is is a lot of innovative work over the over the course of years. If Vermont has a great entrepreneurial spirit, because that's about wanting to do your own thing. And there's, you know, we're part of a great tech scene in Vermont that is is still lurking under the radar a little bit. That's why it's great to have to have opportunities like this, really, to tout what's going on not just here at Logic Supply, but in Vermont in general. It's yeah. it's. I love our farms, I love skiing and snowboarding, I love getting outside, um, but the state's got a lot more going for it. So stay inside and work on the tech. That's right, that's <laughs> right. Well, thank you so much, Mark. It's been absolutely a pleasure speaking with you. Hey guys, thanks for watching Innovate and visiting Logic Supply with me. Today I learned that Logic Supply is taking over the world of industrial computing with their rugged technology. To learn more about them, visit their website at www.logicsupply.com.